Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode how to manage access keys for Azure storage accounts. So this episode is not focused on access keys 1 and uh, 2 that are presented in the storage account settings because it's more than simply how to use it just copy paste your storage account name and the uh, case and paste to your application today I will focus on how to mix the key vault with the storage account and the benefits of this combination so we already know that uh, the Azure storage account uses a credential including an account name and a key uh, the weak point of this access key is because uh, could be compromised and Microsoft recommends to regularly generate this keys to avoid possible breakage. Using a key vault you can set a regeneration period of x days for example and uh, after x days key vault regenerate k1 from the storage account and swap to the active k2 to k1 and so on so this safeguard cryptographic k uh, a k vault is used by cloud application and the services and of course this option increases security and control over k and password and uh, the main benefit of this uh, combination is because applications have no direct access to to the keys to the keys of uh, your storage account however this super cool option doesn't satisfy your requirements in some cases and even more cannot apply to all of your scenarios and let me demonstrate today how to use a key vault instead of storage account key to connect to your blob to all your storage services so what we will try to do here is to attach a storage key in a key vault and enable the regeneration period for example 20 days first of all you should access the Azure CLI how you can use a PowerShell but uh, Azure PowerShell I mean but make sure to have uh, Azure module installed on your PC <coughs> you can get this get installed module okay I have uh, all module installed that are related to AZ Azure okay uh, I'm going to use a Visual Studio code because um, I find it easier and yes uh, why we are using Azure PowerShell our Azure CLI uh, because um, the regeneration period option for Kvault is not presented in Azure portal I mean uh, a web version okay and uh, what do we have here I already prepared all the steps here in Visual Studio Code to waste less time for me and of course for you uh, this code um, I will put in the description of this video if you want you can use it okay and um, let's start with the first step to connect to the Azure account to my Azure account okay I am connected with uh, Azure ID account in case if you have more than one subscription you can uh, use this command get az subscription and uh, you can use uh, set az context in order to select your uh, your subscription 
the subscription where you want to deploy uh, deploy your resources so I can show you set a Z set a Z context subscription and subscription ID okay this prefix I use it to easy naming my uh, resources for example test manage k access for example okay this is the location where uh, our resource will be deployed the resource group name that will be the name will be like rg and uh, test mka the same with storage account k vault the next uh, the next variable is a k vault asp app id uh, this is a service principal application id is id this id is not specific for each account or subscription is the same as uh, for you uh, and this uh, id is defined by microsoft okay the next uh, variable is um, storage account k you can use k1 or you can use primary this doesn't matter uh, and the last one uh, the user ID and I want to remark here one thing this is a Azure AD account uh, if you will use the main user account will not uh, will not work okay so let's start with uh, deployment of uh, a resource group before starting creating a new resource group let me deploy the variables okay and now we we can create a new resource group using the resource name that were defined here and the location the next step is to create a new storage account okay I forgot to add uh, the local redundant storage so we can use st standard and uh, local redundant storage should work once we have the storage account we can uh, go next with uh, deployment of uh, vault okay N new k vault has been deployed with kv test mka so the next step is to extract the storage account id from our storage account name um, to do this we need to put this get as a storage account in one variable and after that storage account dot id as you can see we have uh, the id of our storage account and we can go ahead with assign a role uh, to this application in order to be able to manage the key uh, for this storage account in this row we will add access policy for user ID oops sorry missed the first character as Okay, the next step is to define the, the regeneration period and the last step is to 
add regeneration period for our k vault uh, that is referred to our storage account and uh, we'll be able to regenerate uh, this k1 the primary k that uh, were defined here uh, above and the last uh, and the last parameter is the regeneration period so let's check if it's working so what we have done here we have an account name this is a storage account name as you can see a very source id and uh, we have attached a storage key to the k vault uh, with the option to regenerate per with the option to regenerate the new k in uh, after 20 days so now we can connect with the dns name and the resource id from the k vault to the application and our services for example if you use uh, databricks uh, when you create a scope in uh, in the application so let me check i don't know if okay um, and access policy mm, is not here properties so as i said we have a dns name and the resource id and these two parameters can be used uh, to connect to your application so uh, i hope this information was useful for you uh, subscribe for upcoming videos and uh, see you next time thank you